Here are the three reasons why you should not hire a real estate agent and definitely don't hire a mortgage broker. Well, first off, who are you gonna yell at when something goes wrong? You know, stuff goes wrong in real estate and it's super important to make sure that you have a professional who understands complicated situations and has been in the business a significant amount of time involved in transactions to make sure that you win when things don't go right. But the online lender promised me an unbelievable rate. Hey, it happens all the time and, and you just gotta make sure that you're not only, you, they'll put it in writing, you gotta make sure that they'll stand by their word and working with someone you can trust is super important. I listed my house with the neighborhood expert or a family friend and I found out it's the first transaction they've done all year. I hear this one all the time. Someone's gonna list it with a family friend, they get in a difficult situation, or they list it with the local expert who just so happens to be the person who's the nosy neighbor and knows everything going on. Well, no, they send me the postcard with the that's apple, true. apple they do crumble have, recipe. They do have a great apple crumble recipe or the peach cobbler recipe yes. that they send everybody in the neighborhood. But when it comes down to it, having somebody who understands the complicated nature of a transaction and also not just listing a property for sale and praying, but actually has a strategy that's gonna help you win is the difference between tens if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. I should use a listing agent when I write my offer up. That oh, I hear that one all the time. And, and sometimes that's got its potential, but most of the time I feel that most borrowers end up overpaying. And, and that leads to the last one is if you really want to overpay for a property, don't work with a real estate agent, just try and figure it out yourself. What we've found is when people go approach a property, what the information that they receive is usually not that great. Even if it's from the listing agent, you gotta make sure who's, you have somebody who's representing you to get you all the way to the finish line and make sure that you're making sound, conscious decisions the whole way through. So these are just the three reasons why you don't wanna hire a real estate agent and don't wanna hire a mortgage lender. If you guys are looking for more tips and tricks on how to win in the real estate market, make sure you guys stay tuned.